About 26 years ago, Shazari Emiliani proposed a change to how we place ourselves in the timeline of human achievement. His idea was to start counting the years with the dawn of human settlement in agriculture, about 12,000 years ago, at the beginning of the Holocene era. Thus, the year 10,000 BCE would become the year 180, and the year 2019 CE would be 12,019 HE. This gives a broad perspective to the passage of time, instead of limiting human progress to the last few thousand years. In planned botany, the year circa 1 HE, the sunflower plant was first domesticated by the prehistoric Native Americans. Used as bread flour, medicinal ointments, dyes, body paints and of course, seeds. Circa 9500 HE, traditional Chinese medicine began, including herbs, acupuncture, acupressure, massage, exercise, dietary therapy, and more. Circa 9631 HE, Hippocrates, father of Western medicine, was the earliest known Western person to have shown a considered interest in plant life. Many plants were used to treat ailments or known to cause ailments, so a good doctor needed to know which was which. Circa 9681 HE, Theophrastus, Greek scholar who was the first Greek to write a systematic book on botany, including 550 plant species from as far away as India. Circa 10,079 HE, Pliny the Elder mentioned over 800 species of flora in his writing called Natural History. Circa 10,556 HE, Leonhard Fuchs, Bavarian botanist, researched plants and published first book with over 500 woodcut drawings detailing high-quality drawings as the most chilling way to specify what a plant and its name mean. Circa 11,020 HE, a Persian polymath, known in Europe as Avicenna, introduced experimentation and quantification into the study of plants for medicine and physiology, including the introduction of experimental medicine and clinical trials. Circa 11,200 HE, South Asians of India used herbs and other plants for medicinal purposes. Circa 11,556 HE, Native Americans introduced tobacco to Europeans and thus the rest of the world. Circa 11,686 HE John Ray, British botanist, had access to so much more of the world than the ancient Greeks, published a painstaking three-volume classification of 18,600 different plant species. Isaac Asimov said classifications such as John Ray's made the matter of biological evolution seem an overwhelming likelihood. Circa 11,694 HE, Marcello Malpighi, Italian physiologist who further pioneered the field of microscopes. The Royal Society of London published volumes of Malpighi's botanical works and his zoological works with images from his microscopic studies. Circa 11,712 HE, Nehemiah Grew, English botanist, is known as the father of plant anatomy because he showed that plants have sexuality, plants reproduce sexually, plants have sex organs, and that individual grains of pollen were the equivalent of the sperm cells in the animal world. Circa 11,761 HE, Stephen Hale's experiments on plants established that air contributed to the nutrition of plants. Circa 11,768 HE, Sir Joseph Banks took part in Captain James Cook's first voyage from 11,768 HE through 11,771 HE. Approximately 80 species of plants bear his name. Circa 11,832 HE, Henri Cassini, French botanist, great great grandson of Cassini I, a solar astronomer, the first of four astronomers called Cassini. Botanist Henri Cassini specialized in the sunflower family, and researched and named about 17 genera. Circa 11,843 HE, Humboldt's journey through South America, North America, Russia, and Europe. He studied the geography of plants, and is credited with inventing our modern concept of nature. Humboldt believed in the power of learning and wrote many books that were aimed at a general audience. Humboldt said, with knowledge comes thought and with thought comes power. One of Humboldt's greatest achievements was to make science accessible and popular. Eleanor Jones Harvey asserts that the idea for the museums of the Smithsonian Institute in Washington, D.C. can be circled back to the wonderful abolitionist and scientist Alexander von Humboldt. Circa 11,890 HE, Beatrix Potter, English scientist who proposed theory on how fungi reproduce, was also famous for Peter Rabbit. 
Barbara McClintock said one must await the right time for conceptual change. Although she was an 11,983 AT Nobel Prize winning scientist and cytogeneticist from the USA, for 20 years starting in 11,948 AT, her work in genetic recombination and reproduction was rejected by other geneticists. She discovered transposition and used it to demonstrate that genes are responsible for turning physical characteristics on and off. She developed theories to explain the suppression and expression of genetic information from one generation of maize plants to the next. Recently, circa 12,019 HE, plant-based foods have taken on a new role, replacing meat. The Impossible Burger, as a tasty responsible beef alternative became available to a mainstream general consuming public around the world. Scientists started with a simple question. What makes meat taste like meat? Then they took everything we know and love about meat and made it even better, using plants. Why make meat from plants? To keep the mouth-watering flavor with only a tiny fraction of the environmental impact of animal meat, visit our website at www.easytimeline.org for more details and for thousands of other human accomplishments in science. Viewed through Emiliani's Holocene era calendar reform idea.